Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to my Pokemon Leaf Green Let's Play. Ooh, ooh. I love that horn. <laughs> On the last episode, uh, we checked out Vermilion City. Uh, we noticed that we can't access the gym. There's a little tree in the way. We're going to hopefully take care of that in this episode. Uh, we looked into Diglett Cave, realized there was another tree. Can't go through it yet. We need cut again. And we also fought our way through most of the SSN, which is where we currently are. And in this episode, I'm planning on finishing the SSN. And we're going to look into some of those damn trees. We're going to see what's up. We're going to see if we can get some items. So let's have a look at our Pokemon real quick. 23 and 24, 24. So yeah, let's just keep Nido King out. Oh, let's have a chat with this guy. This ship, she's a luxury liner for trainers of the world. At every port, we hold parties with invited trainers. I've already spoken to you, and you probably had a different accent then too. What's up, buddy? Our captain is a swor sword. He's a sword master. Sword master. He's awesome at using cut. They say he even teaches cut to Pokemon. That's good. We'll we'll want that. And I have this little little weird plant type Pokemon who might want to learn it. Maybe. Ugh, I feel ill. I got seasick, so I stepped out to get some air. Good idea, man. Good idea. Hey, buddy, slow down. Woo! Scrubbing decks is hard work. How can you scrub a deck when you're running? Uh, 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 uh. Scrubbing decks! Okay. Ahoy there! Are you seasick? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Trevor! Nido King, it is. We'll start off with a dig this time and see how much that does. Is that strong enough to get a one hit? Best kind. I doubt it though, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Oh, it is! I need to have more faith in, in my mans. There's a strong boys. Strong boys. Uh, I don't even remember what I said, but I'm going to keep you out and hope for the best. Tentacle, yeah, no problem. Uh, we'll give you a dig. I think I can hit you with dig. I'm not sure. You might have levitate. This might be a slap in the face. No, it hit. Good job, good job, good job. It's super effective. 382. Look at that. He's almost 24. Everyone's doing great. Everyone's doing great. I was just careless. No, you're just beaten down, man. You got no hope. Hey, buddy. Oh, look. There's the pathway from the beginning. The party's over. The ship will be departing soon. That's it. That's that's That happens, man. That happens. Oh! Hi, matey. Let's do a little jig. Alright, man. You know eyes to buy? Edmund. Edmund sends out my chap. We got a Nido King. Uh, sorry. Yes, we have a Nido King. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Dig. Let's use Dig. I'm not going to shut up because then what's the point of me doing the video? He missed. Nido King comes up with a Dig. Oh, level 18 gets the, gets the live. Oh, oh, come on. Poison point. For the finish! For the finish! Yes! I love it. Shelter. Now nah, we'll keep you we'll keep you out. And hopefully you'll get 24. Uh, I gotta rearrange some moves here now. Brick break might come up a little bit. We'll use dig on shelter. Let's see what we get. Tackle, miss attack. I'd say he'll live. I'd say he'll live. Yeah, yeah. Withdrawal gets his defense up. Ain't worried about it. Let's use Brick Break. Well, bam! You done, son. 373. Yes, and that's enough to get Needle King to 24. Three on the HP, one on speed, two's across the board. I, I dig this guy. He's, uh, you're impressive. Yes, he is impressive. Needle King is great. I don't think there's anything. Oh, he 
wait till Moss I can get. No. Anything? No. Nothing. Nothing here. All right, let's run on back down, and we'll head. We'll continue to head uh, east, but instead, oh, sorry, but first, let's head on into the rooms. Four, twenty-four. All right, let's give War Turtle another go. I've journeyed far and wide, but in all of my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. Whoa! He's a big boy. A Snorlax. He sleeps like a lot, a lot, and we will not be able to catch him. We can see him uh, pretty soon. Uh, I can, we can actually right now if we wanted to, but I'm doing the SSN first. Uh, we could see him, but we can't do anything about him until we get, let's fight this guy, until we get a, a special flute that helps him wake up from his nap. And that's, uh, that's progress for another day. Check out what I fished up. Fisherman Dale would like to battle with a Goldeen. Goldeen evolves into Sea King. I've also used Sea King on occasion through a playthrough of the original generations. Nothing to nothing to shake a stick at. But, you know, a Pokemon's a Pokemon. They'll all work out if you keep leveling them up and give them appropriate moves. You can use pretty much everything. Tentacool. Alright, we're we're water versus water, so we're gonna keep keep the dark move going. Oh no, we are the confused. That's not good. Although we had amazing luck before, I'm suspecting. Here we go, yeah. That, that was the one off, and I will continue to never attack again. So I hurt myself, he's got me in a rat. Oh, I hit him with something, good job. Constrict, sorry, not a rat, constrict, so that's gonna do damage. It's just gonna keep this long plan going. Yep, hit myself. Uh... Like, I'm gonna win. It's just, it it makes it take forever. And if I wasn't in such a good position level-wise, I could be in some trouble. Okay, lots of twos, only uh, one's on attack and special attack. No big deal. Ooh, he's trying to learn rapid spin. Can't learn more than four moves. Let's take a look at Rapid Spin. It's a normal attack, and it frees the user from Vine, Wrap, Leech, Seed, sorry, Leech Seed, and Spikes. So those are all attacks that basically attack you over time. Little bits of damage, little tick damage every time. I'm not going to use Bubble, and I don't have a normal move, so we're going to take Rapid Spin just as an emergent attack. We're going to forget Bubble, and we're going to learn the Rapid Spin. There we go. Level 25. Excellent. Good job, buddy. Goldine again. We're going to hit him with a bite. Water Sport. We're we'll some fire moves. Doesn't matter. We are both water. And I wouldn't use a fire Pokemon against a Goldine anyway. Fisherman Dale is down. Dale's down! Uh, what's this gentleman gonna say? I bet he's got more fire Pokemon. Competing against the young keeps me youthful. Gentleman Brooks. I bet you he's a hard working man. Got it all on the line for a piece of the promised land. Oh shit, he got a Pikachu! Uh, poopy. Okay, uh, I'm not even going to attempt this because he's level 23. So, Nido King, you are the man. Whew! Gotta be careful. Doesn't affect Nido King because he's ground. Dig. Quick attack. Quick attack will hurt. Not a lot of damage, but it will hurt. So we get to dig, and hopefully he doesn't use like an evasioning increase attack or anything. Okay, just, just. Move. Should be down. Yes. Critical! And super effective! Take you down, son.
take you down. Needle King is going to be our saving grace for the next gym. We found a Stardust. Now remember, when we fought Misty, up to Pokemon up to level 30 will obey. He's 24. So I try to be comfortable. I won't let him go anywhere. Let me just about three levels to the cap. Because usually if you go into a gym, you're not going to gain three levels. So that should ensure that I stay within the 30 threshold of the level. Uh, so he doesn't disobey me. Based on the, uh, the threshold that we just mentioned. Let's see what this guy's got to say. Ah oh, yes, I've seen some Pokemon. Fairy Pokemon. The fairy people across the water. And we're gonna give some more levels to Wartorn also, we'll keep him out. Small trees can be chopped down using the move cut, but remember this, cut is a HM technique. Once learned, it is not so easily discarded. Yes, HMs are what's called hidden machines. Uh, they existed back here in the day, uh, where it was a move that you once you learn it on a Pokemon, you cannot get it removed unless you visit a move deleter. And that sometimes can be a unit of a pain in the ass. Especially if you haven't reached that part of the game yet. I don't believe I saw you at the party. So with HM moves, you can, you can do a couple things. You can give it to uh, one of your main stable Pokemon and you can use it as a move. A lot of HMs aren't that great for permanent use. Strength is good, Surf is good, uh, Fly is good. Uh, it's like Dig, but for flying, flying moves. Uh, flash is not so necessary, Cut's not so necessary, um, and later generations you have different ones like Waterfall and stuff like that. Uh, some are okay, uh, some are just a waste of time. So you want to be particularly, uh, especially a little more skimpy on who you give HMs to. Now, I, again, I mentioned last time, I have Bellsprout, so I'm going to waste cut on him, because I'm not going to use him as a primary Pokemon. I don't suspect he'll be sticking around. And if he does, I'll just get a move tutor to delete him and put it on someone else if I really need to. But I don't suspect that will be the case, so we're just going to dig this Pikachu down to the ground. Oh, but because I touched him, his static gave me a paralysis. Ah, uh, and I keep that now throughout the battle, so or throughout the, the gameplay, so I need to get rid of that. Take it easy! What is this? X attack. Something I never use is the X items. Uh, they're okay. Uh, they increase your speed, your attack, whatever the case is uh, on your Pokemon. But usually, my Pokemon are strong enough that I don't require any extra bonuses to their stats. And what's this guy have to say? Which do you find more worthy? A strong or rare Pokemon? What about a strong rare Pokemon? How's that, buddy? How's that, Lamar? Growlithe. Alright, I'm okay with that. More total for the win. Intimidate, cutting that attack. Does nothing against my special attack, Water Pulse. And down goes Growlithe. 3 3. Ooh, it's almost 26. And speaking of Rapidash, here is the first uh, evolution. It is Ponyta. So I don't suspect I'll be seeing a Ponyta anytime soon. I have to look up if there's any other locations rather than Cinnabar Island. Because I don't remember offhand. But hey, why do I need to look it up? I could just open up my Pokedex. That's what it's there for. And with that, 26 is achieved. 3 HP, 2 attack, 2 special defense, 2 speed. That's a good one. That's a good, that's a good level. And once for defense, special defense. That's a good level. I must salute you. Give me that money, man. Twelve twenty-four. That's good. That's good stuff. I prefer strong and ah, that's what I just said. You spicy old man, you. Okay, what's this room got to say? This is not a fighter. Me and Daddy think the Safari Zone is awesome. I wish we could go there again. Yeah, Safari Zone is pretty cool. You can catch lots, lots of rare Pokemon. What's Daddy have to say? Have you gone to the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City? Not yet. 
There are many console for Pokemon. Yes, yes, I literally just said that. Oh, we got one room left, it seems, and a little hallway. Ooh, we've got two trainers. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back to back. Oh no, they're not trainers, look at that. The captain said he's awfully sick. He was all pale. Oh, I hear many Pokemon, many people get seasick. Okay, yeah, they do. If you don't get your sea legs. <laughs> Alright, so, I mentioned there might be a special person coming here to have a, uh, have a Pokemon battle. And I think we're going to meet that person right now! So just before, I'm going to give it a save. Jeez, we're six hours in. We're doing pretty good. Oh, look! It's Anna! Bonjour, Rain! Imagine seeing you here. Rain? I can, man, you say my name a lot. Were you really invited? Oh, shit, that's two sentences. I read that wrong. My bad. So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 cons, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas and look hard for them. Alright, man. Last time you, you humbled me a little bit. I didn't expect you to do what you did. But I think I'm in better position now. Yeah, he's got four Pokemon versus my three. I have four, really, technically, but I'm not using one of them. And we'll hit Pidgeotto with a secret power from Firo. Now look at our Firo. He's a beastie boy now. He's no longer the Spearow he once was. He is strong. He is ready to take one-fifth of damage and put Pidgeotto out. Bam! That's right, buddy. Raticate. Hmm. Raticate. Yeah, let's, uh, let's be smart. And we'll use Needle King. Hopefully, hopefully, we don't get hit with any good. We are faster. Level 16. Please miss. Little King used Dig. Done. Excuse me. Kadabra. Okay, we're gonna swap. We're gonna swap. Uh, we're gonna give this one to Firo. Do not want to fight that guy with the Needle King because he will kick my ass. So, we do have some dark moves on two of our Pokemon, Fero and Wartortle. And these are super effective against Psychic. Okay, with a confusion on him, that could have easily been heavy damage onto our Needle King. Could have been a bad, bad time. But we don't need to worry about it. Two thieves. Firo takes the cake. And Adam's about to use Ivysaur. And of course we have our beautiful flying Pokemon here. Still alive. We're gonna take you down, son. We're gonna give you a pecky peck. He's level 20. Critical! Look at that. You earn that 25, Spiro. Da -da -da -da. See what we got? Two's across the board with three on a speed. Beautiful level. These guys are doing great. Ro player has defeated Rival Adam. Now, buddy. Now, buddy. That's the way that should have went. Huh. At least you're raising your Pokemon. 720, not bad. I'll take your money. I'll take your money. I heard there was a Cutmaster on board. But he was just a seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yep, it'll be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya! Alright, bro. What up? What do you got here? You got a diary or something? How to conquer seasickness. The captain's reading this. Yeah, yeah. He's a sick man. What's up, buddy? Oh, I feel hideous. Oh, seasick. And I rub this strange captain's back. Rub, 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 rub. Phew, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. 
You want to see my hidden cut technique? I could show you my prize cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know. You can have this. This hidden machine. Teach cut to your Pokemon, and you can see it cut anytime. And we've got HM1 Cut. Using cut, you can chop down small trees. Why not try it with the trees around Vermilion City? Oh, <laughs> you damn right, buddy. Phew. No, no, six seconds more. I guess it's time. SSM will set sail soon. Farewell until our return to Vermilion City. Me, me. TM case. We're going to check out. Cut. Normal attack, 50 power, 95 X, so it does have a high, slightly higher chance of evading, which is annoying. And we're going to give that to our Bell Sprout. Yes, you will have it. Uh, I'll like Surreal. Hmm. I'll keep both the power of Shag. I'll give it a wrap. I'm not going to use wrap. Alright. Get through all the words. We don't care. We just need to make sure we got someone who can use cut. Awesome. See, it doesn't disappear. It stays here in the bag. That's alright. Hopefully we'll never need to teach it to anyone else again. And we'll just keep him around until we no longer need cut. And then we can just drop him off a bank. But he will be fondly remembered as a part of our team. As our cut boy. Oh, and here departs the SSN. All this 8-bit music is like ingrained in my brain. I'll forever remember it. And goodbye. Thank you for the experience. I appreciate it. What are you saying? The ship set sail. Yes, it did. Okay. Let's head back and do a quick heal. Yes, I would. Thank you. So, we've completed SSN. In all its glory, we got a pile of experience, pile of levels, and now we can start cutting things up. So let's have a look around. Uh, first off, we do have access to the gym. I don't want to do that right now. I think I'm going to hold... We're going to go do some item hunting first. Yeah, let's do some item hunting. So I'm going to... Cut out this Diglets cave so you guys don't have to see me fighting a bunch of Diglets. Because I prefer to get the experience than to skip it. So I will just meet you on the other side. Here we are on the other side of Diglett's Cave at the end of Route 2. So we have this tree right here we can cut down. And let's show where we end up. Right back here at Pewter City. So, let's take a look around. Is there anything in Pewter? Ooh! Well, look at that. This tree looks like it can be cut down. Would you like to cut it? Absolutely, Bellsprout. Do your job, buddy. So now we can access this back portion of the building. Uh, the museum that we skipped off on last time. Secrets of space. The mysteries of Earth. There are so many things about which we know so little. But that should spur us to study harder. Not toss in the towel. The only thing you should toss. Well, how about seismic toss? Should I teach that to a Pokemon? Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. Okay, dude. What's up? Who wants to learn seismic toss? I don't remember if that's a normal move or a fighting move. I think it's fighting. I'm not going to worry about that with our current lineup. If I remember that, I might come back with a fighting Pokemon, and I might try and give him some learning. We have two fossils of rare prehistoric Pokemon on exhibit. Thank you. Cool. Can I see this one? There's a beautiful piece of amber in a clear gold color. Amber, eh? Shh! Listen! I need to share a secret with someone. 
I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be sh a shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. So I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this examined at a Pokemon lab somewhere. And we have received the old amber from the man. And we put the old amber in the key in his pocket. What do you got to say? Shh, get the old amber checked. And we certainly will. We absolutely will. Do you know what amber is? Uh, well, yeah. Amber contains the genetic matter of ancient Pokemon. Well, we just got an amber. There's a lab somewhere trying to resurrect Pokemon from amber. Yes, there is. And we will 100% Go and have a chat and figure that out. We got a bit of extra cash. So let's have a little explore. Fifty dollar for a child's ticket. Would you like to come in? Yes, yes. We have twenty-eight thousand monies. We are good. What does this guy got to say? I don't think there's anything cool on this side. Never did I think I would get to see these bones of a dragon. Aerodactyl fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. Absolutely. And what do you think is in our amber? Kabutops fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. Another one that I was supposed to get, but I end up missing that up. This month we're running a space exhibit. I ended up getting uh, the Helix fossil. I should have picked the Dome fossil, but that's okay. Meteorite that fell on Moon Moon. It is thought to be a Moonstone. Yep, we have a few of those. And here's our space exhibit. Yeah, Pikachu soon, I promise. I want a Pikachu, it's so cute. Ask my daddy to catch me one. Yeah, so this is this is it. This is the museum. Nothing nothing fancy on this side. The cool side is uh, is the secret cut side, which we just explored. So, with that, we are going to leave the town, head on down, head back to the right side of Route 2, and head on down, and we're going to pass this, and we're going to see what items are on the other side. Oh, it is not an item, it is a building. What up? Once a Pokemon can learn Flash, you can get through Rock Tunnel. Yeah, that's right. What's up, buddy? I'm Professor Oaks Aids. If your Pokedex completed data on 10 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. You entrusted me with HM5 for you. So Rain, let me ask you, have you gathered data on at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? I think so. Great! You've caught or owned 11. <laughs> I just did it. Just the skin of me deep. Congratulations, here you go. And we got HM5. So that's the move for Flash, which we were able to use, I think, once we beat Brock was letting us use Flash. Uh, lights up even the darkest of caves and dungeons. There is a cave ahead that we will need Flash for, so it's very important that we came down here to pick it up. We have ether and another tree, a paralyzed heal, and more. Yeah, that's it, that's it. So there is one more item over here in the town that I'm going to quickly show you guys. We are all the way back now down to Viridian City. We're pretty much like the second town of the game. So there's this tree as well. We're going to have a little quick chitty chat chat with our uh, friend here. Oh, well, here comes a real god. <laughs> the game made me on. I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this weird dream about a drowsy eating my dream. And I learn how to eat dreams. Oh, this is too spooky. Let me teach it to a Pokemon so I can forget about it. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to get a TM. Anyway, this move is called Dream Eater. So when you have a ghost Pokemon who uh, can put you to sleep with a hypnosis attack, for instance, uh, you can use Dream Eater then to uh, to eliminate to eliminate their health and you absorb it yourself but of course the move only works whilst they are dreaming so anyway cool little bit of tidbit there and we're gonna head back we're gonna cut these trees and we're gonna head through dig the cave again 
Yes. And I will see you on the other side, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here we are on the opposite side of Diggler Cave once again. Uh, we are going to do a quick heal. I ended up fighting a Doug Trio that almost took me out. He had one, one HP left. Uh, War Turtle did. But he managed to survive and take him out. He was faster than me, so he got his dates off. But we made it through. And he did uh, gain a level 27, I believe. So that is all for now. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it there. Uh, I think we're about a half hour mark here now. Uh, the next episode, we will fight our third gym leader. So be prepared for that. Nidorino, or sorry, Nido King. Nido King is our big beefy boy. And he will be taking out Lieutenant Surge. So join me next time, will you? Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And have yourselves a great day. See you in the next one.